This is an ETA SH log gasification boiler. It's manufactured by ETA, who are an Austrian company who produce more than 10,000 boilers per year. Uh, the size of this boiler is a 30 kilowatt, which is the standard size of a UK dwelling at the moment. It's a solid log fuel boiler and it heats the water that's then used for your central heating and hot water systems in your house. The fuel chamber can take up to half metre logs. The large chamber volume can accommodate enough logs that loading is only required once a day or twice on cold winter days. There are three main compartments within the boiler. There is the loading chamber, igniting chamber and combustion chamber where also the ash is collected. Loading is simple. You would open this, the main loading door, add a few sheets of paper and then add your locks. Lighting the boiler is also very simple. The induced draft flame ensures rapid ignition. Once the required temperature of 100 degrees the flue gas has been reached, you can then close the igniting door and walk away. There is around 2% ash created from burning of the wood fuel, which is to be removed once a week during the winter and once every fortnight during the summer. Cleaning is very simple, with a few pulls of this lever, any ash in the system is removed to the bottom. Before wood can be burnt, it first must be converted into gas by the application of heat. This is, explains why we have a long gas flame of a wood fire. Small gasification flame burns at the bottom of the wood stack. This is all controlled by the primary air, which is regulated by the electronic controls. This enables a longer and more efficient period of combustion. Mixing nozzles are located between the fuel chamber and the combustion chamber. This is where secondary air is introduced, which gives the flame enough turbulence that when it reaches the combustion chamber, it achieves complete burning. Only once the combustion process is fully complete does the hot gas flow transfer its heat to the water content within the boiler. The heated water is then transferred to a buffer tank. Once the energy is stored it can be used at any time throughout the day to provide heat to your central heating system and hot water. With the aid of sensors in the buffer tank the temperatures are constantly monitored within the boiler. The ETA boiler and the buffer tank are constantly working as one and from this control panel we can view the temperatures at the top, middle and bottom and the overall percentage of charge in the buffer tank. Once the buffer tank has achieved its 100% charge, it will starve the boiler its oxygen, which then the flame then goes out, saving the fuel for a later date. A wood boiler can easily be turned down, so any excess heat that's created is stored as a safety feature in the buffer tank. The other main safety features are the safety group valve, which is constantly monitoring the pressure in the system. Uh, if the pressure was to reach over 3 bar, then the pressure relief valve would then discharge any excess pressure in the system. We also have a, a safety thermal valve at the back of the boiler which if the temperatures were ever to reach over 96 degrees, a cold feed would then be discharged into the fuel chamber, distinguishing any flame. The ETA SH gasification boiler is a great option for someone who's got access to wood and also a great alternative to burning the use of fossil fuels.